The Fantastic Johnny Thunders. I think Johnny, to me, was the best songwriter that ever lived. They brought a sense of fun and self-awareness to rock and roll. The dolls were very far away from being pro. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're always late, they're always out of tune. Some people say that the New York Dolls dress like girls or women, but they didn't look anything like any women. I didn't know any women that dressed like that. Each time it seems to get crazier and crazier. Where does it stop? Jerry turned around like this and said, fuck the New York Dolls. Johnny was always at war with himself emotionally. I think people would go to see him thinking that he was on the verge of dying on stage. They were the best band. Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers were fantastic. It was like a freight train. When they were on, nothing could stop them. They were unique, but they had a big problem. And the big problem is no one wanted to sign them. And that's because of the drug issue. You can't get more drug saturated than that. You know, his songs are friggin' classics, man. It will just go on and on and on, even though they didn't sell that much. You know, but they are probably some of the most influential songs that there is. Johnny's best friend. <laughs>